well as you know just for a bit of fun we're doing this and this is worn bearings are worn like that so I'm just going to shim them up a bit we can't shim them up you've got to take them off here and I'm not I don't know if those faces touch or not I don't think they do but anyway I'll check that but as I say I'm I can't uh, do anything about the bearings to do it properly because you put new bearings in but uh, no doubt they were made at the thing anyway just for fun I thought we'll see how much play there is you know I only excuse to make a video in it that bit's got to be easy because it just wants a very small washer to shim that up that's easy to do and this one if I We've, got to either, we've just got to file it down and I think that what I've got to do is file that and file that there and that's not critical but that is and there's quite a lot to come off I think anyway while we're doing it I thought I'd just show you how to check bearings you just get a small piece of solder like that and because that's got a groove in I'm going to put it on the inside edge and you just rest it on there on your shaft on your bearing like that I'm going to move it to the end and then you just get your cap and put the cap on and tighten it down and it's only held on with some screws these, these are you see so it's not much of a job So just screw your cap on and you should be able to, you'll feel well when it goes tight it should be tight anyway you can you only want a tiny bit to check it so that's tight I'll just give it a tap for good measure got a hammer somewhere but I'll do it with this anyway Yeah, that's down anyway. And then just take it off. As I say, it doesn't take long, does it? And uh, then your piece of solder is on there, if you can see it, just there, that end. So just take that off, like that, let me make it small, and uh, then you can mic it up, that's it, straighten it out, like that, and you can mic it up like that we've got a lot of play on the end of that one crikey I don't know if you can read that or not it's 16 thou <laughs> which is no good that's on that end so because they're long bearings I better do the other end as well well that end is if you can see it it's 14 thou 13 and a half look so 
bit of tape on it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, there's a lot. To, there's a there's a lot of play in there. A lot of play. You know, so got a lot to come off. I don't have foul that much off. So we've got quite a while doing that, aren't we? Well, after messing about with it for, I started filing that cap, bottom of that, and after 20 minutes, I was getting nowhere. I thought, well, come on, what are you doing? You know, you you bodging it up, aren't you? All it's got to do is run smooth and true. So I do it with the angle grinder. I'm not doing it for a blooming metalwork exam, am I? That's trouble when you can do things right. You know, it's hard to bodge them. Anyway, I've done it. And that's all on tight, no play whatsoever, and I just got a bit of uh, aluminium can put in there for a shim. There's no side play, look, nothing. Runs lovely. I'll leave it on the low for a bit, just to double, make, doubly sure, but look at that. 